Here's a quick one about a guy. He is 33 years old, and he found out one day going through his fiance's phone that she's having a full-blown affair with another dude. He found all the text conversations, all that, and he handles the situation like a boss. Let her think everything was okay, that he didn't know what was going on, but secretly planned to escape. Include everything out and abandon her, and now she's having a meltdown, not knowing what's going on, because she came home to find his stuff is gone, and he can't, she can't reach him. Says here, last night I, a male, 33 years old, discovered hundreds of texts between my fiance, a 25 year old female, with another man, revealing them meeting in secret, mostly while I was away in another city. When the cat's away, the mice will play. We've been together for one year. You've been together for one year and you're already engaged. Smack! Do you want to talk about revealing through your actions desperation? And we've been engaged for two months. I have never cheated. We talked about infidelity and boundaries many times. And she often expressed disgust at people who cheat. I pretended everything was fine for the night while she slept on my lap. I took photos of the messages between them. I took about 400 photos and only managed to get back two months before my phone died and she woke up. She didn't realize anything was up. We stayed in the same bed that night, her asleep and me not. I cooked her breakfast the next morning, asked for the engagement ring so I could get it polished at the jewelry store at the uh, <coughs> in our suburbs because she scratched it in, in the day before. She reluctantly agreed and put on another ring for the, for the day. I told her I loved her and sent her on her way. Then I quickly packed everything I had and left. I do love her. That wasn't a lie. You're not going to get over her in an instant. You can be done with her, which is the right thing to do, but you're not going to get over her in an instant. Nobody's like a light switch in that way. Uh, many of the messages between them feature both of them saying, I love you and I'm in love with you and quite a few suggest physical infidelity. Dude, I guarantee you there's a whole lot of physical action going on. This sucks. But you know what? He was with her for a year and they got engaged. He doesn't know her. That is in no way, shape, or form. If you're crazy enough to get married nowadays, and you need years with a woman. Fucking years to really get to know her. One year, pff, she can put on the whole show all she wants. Uh, to be honest, there are too many to go through them all here, but the conversation thread that stands out the most is from late November 2022 when I was working in another city, and it goes like this. The other guy says, I just always want to be close to you as possible. I love it when you sleep on my lap and on my chest, and I'm still thinking about you in the bed earlier. We haven't done that in a while, while when you're literally taking my shirt off and even the kisses were different. I miss the good times. All right, uh, all right put it this way. Did tonight do you any harm? I can tell the difference between making love and just SEX. Well, duh, they're hooking up. Tonight was obviously just SEX. So obviously you're not emotionally attached anymore and not catching feelings, so what harm could be done? This is all the stuff the guy said to her. Sounds like a clingy and needy guy who she'll probably dump soon for another guy. My fiance responded, This sucks. It just made me cry more. A lot of harm. The other guy said... In that case, we don't need to sleep together anymore. I didn't know it made you feel that way. My fiance has since been home, found the house empty of me and my things, and is now blowing up my phone, asking where I am, why did I leave, and what did she do? What did she do? Please advise, what do I do next? Ghost to move on? Give her a chance to explain. No, do not give her a chance to explain, because she's going to give you a bunch of bullshit. And she's been giving you bullshit this entire time. She's probably cheating on you the second you started dating. And when you give her that ring. But what is it? I'm gonna, I'll take a moment here. Money reasons why you wait a long time to propose if that's what you're going to do. You rush into a proposal to a woman. That's going to communicate to her that, holy crap, this guy's really into me. This guy can't wait to lock me down. He must not have a whole lot of options. He must not be a guy in high demand. Well, I want a guy that's in high demand because I'm beautiful. So therefore, I don't respect him as much. Or I really know that I have the power in this relationship, so I can jerk him around if that's who she is. Not saying they're all like this, but a lot are. Et cetera, et cetera. And look what you have here. No, you should not let her explain herself. You got your shit, move on. And you even got that ring. So good she doesn't have that. Move on, start over, cut off all contact with her. If, if you have to contact her, then fine. Freaking just send her some text messages with copies of those pictures that you know about it and say, we're done. Or th say, this this should answer your questions. That's it. Move on. And don't listen to friends or family that may say, try to give her a second chance or some bullshit like that. You're a grown-ass man. You're early 30s. Yeah, I know better. 
And next time around, you meet some girl that you're really hot for, don't propose in one year. You take years. Sorry to happen, but sadly, these things do. She's trash. You need a better screening process to vet these gals, especially the ones nowadays. She was just probably looking for her guy, her her it, a beta male provider, as they're called, right? Because she's in her mid-20s, but was having fun with other guys on the side. But that's how you handle it, guys. You pick up and move on. And that's the cool thing. He's not married to her, so, you know, he picked up his shit and left. End of story. But he could have married her. Imagine the mess he'd be in then. 